Hey everybody, it's Norm and Will. Welcome back to another episode of Behind the Garage Door. Today we're going to head over to Tarpon Springs and meet up with a young lady who just got her dream car. I thought since we were going to see a car that is a really cool color, I thought we would take a car that's a really cool color. All right, so we made the long haul out here to Tarpon Springs to Caitlin's house. Thank you so much, Caitlin, for inviting us out. You're welcome. Thank beautiful you home, coming. beautiful neighborhood. And I'm really excited because you're our first female guest on Behind the Garage Door. Yeah. So I don't want to say congratulations. <laughs> Actually, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being a car person and, and inviting us out to your house. So no further ado, we are going to see what's behind Caitlin's garage door. All right, Caitlin, so before we get into your car, tell me a little bit of your backstory. And are, have you been into cars your whole life? Is this the car that you've always wanted? This is the car. Okay, this is the yes. car. Why, is it 76? Yes. Why a 1976 Corvette? Um, I always just wanted a, a C3. I didn't really care what year it was. Okay. Um, but honestly, the reason is the movie Apollo 13. I grew up watching that movie. Um, one of my dad's favorite movies. It's okay great movie um, and there's two C3s in that movie and as a kid I just I saw that I thought that was the coolest car I'd ever seen I didn't even know you know it was probably six or seven yeah so I didn't know anything about cars didn't know even what a Corvette was but I just saw those cars and I thought that was yeah, it I had to have one of those that was it <laughs> now if, I, if I'm not mistaken in the back when that really happened NASA got with GM and gave those astronauts those Corvettes, right? Yes. And I think that they were like late 60s, like 68, 69, 63 mm -hmm. Corvettes. Mm -hmm. All right, well that, that you know what? Whatever triggers your brain <laughs> to liking that particular car. So since you were six, seven years old, you've always wanted a C3 vet. Yep. Wow, so not was your dad into cars and stuff or was this um, just your dream? It, it, it's really just my dream. I mean, my dad lo loves Corvettes, but he hasn't had one yet. Um, he's actually thinking about getting one in the next couple years. <laughs> so you beat him too. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I didn't really grow up around cars. It was just that was just the one. That's the car. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, Caitlin, now that we know that this is your dream car and the backstory of why you wanted this car so much, tell me about the car. Beautiful. What color is it? What, what's Thank the you. color? The name of this color? It's called dark green. That's it. Simple. <laughs> Simple. All right. So tell me all about the car. Okay, so um, we got the car um, from Florida Corvette Exchange, okay. which is a Corvette dealer up in Hudson. Um, found them on Craigslist. Um, so that's kind of where the funny story begins. I love funny stories. <laughs> the stories are always the best. Um, so like I said, I wanted the car since I was a kid, but I, I never really seriously thought about buying one. I always thought that if I did end up with one, it would probably be you know when I'm older, retired what have you. Um, but I always kind of checked online on Craigslist and Auto Trader and such just to see what was out there. Yeah. Um, and so this was last July. I'm looking at Craigslist and this is the first car that pops up. And so the funny part of the story is I literally remember the words. I went to show the ad to my husband and I said, not that we're going to get this, <laughs> <laughs> but wouldn't it be cool if we had two cars that were the same color? because he had just bought the Jaguar okay. in January. Um, and he's looking through the pictures and I, I don't even think he even said anything. I think he just started dialing the phone number. <laughs> and um, I was like, wait, wait, you know, we haven't even talked about this yet. We, we only have a two car garage. We already have three cars. Like, what are we gonna do with this thing? Um, and thankfully or not thankfully, however you want to look at it, they didn't answer the phone that day. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, and it took us a couple days to get a hold of them. And we kind of had like resigned ourselves to the fact that we like this car was already sold or, you know, so we, we were already in love with it, but we hadn't gotten a hold of them. Finally, they called us back and we were like, okay, well, we have to be the first person to come see this car because it's just unlike any, right. any we, we had looked at other ones before and right. it's unlike any that we had ever seen. So I think we showed up at like eight o'clock the next morning. <laughs> and, Hello, are you open yet? <laughs> yeah, and there were already like three people behind us, but we were the first people to call. So, on this car? Yes. Oh. So we were the first people to see it, take it out on a test drive. We came back and we're like, we're going to the bank, we're getting it. Um, and of course the other people behind us were 
rather disappointed <laughs> yes offering us more money for it yeah. than we paid for it wow um but that's that's the story of how we how you acquired, acquired it. it excellent um, and the color is unique um 76 was the only year that they made this color green okay um which of course they've made other greens but not this one and um it was the least manufactured color that year so only about 2,000 cars are made in this color rare 76 vet yes and then on top of that it has the green interior as well i was gonna ask is that which interior is green? less than 100. and t-tops yes is it a four speed or automatic it's an automatic, automatic. Yeah. okay and the l48 l82 l48 l48 so cool. So this is a, I know they made a ton of Corvettes in the 70s. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of a rare gem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very popular color this year, I think. A lot of the manufacturers are coming out with yeah. like kind of dark green colors. So. I don't know that I've ever seen um, a mid 70s Corvette in this color. So I'm really, I've really happy. I've never met anyone in the same color. Um, the, the way that I found out that there's less than 100 that have the um, green exterior and interior is I was looking on Corvette forums because I had never seen one. So I just kind of wanted to become a junkie. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of wanted to know if anybody else has one. So I've seen two online and that's it. That's it. Yeah. Yours and two others. Yes. Wow. That's super special. This is a very special car. It's very eye catching. It stands out. Yeah. Even though it's a dark color, it stands out in a crowd. Yeah. Really, really nice, Caitlin. Super nice. Thanks. So, Kaylin, you haven't had the car very long, but you already have a few stories. How long? It's been, it's been less than a year. Yes, it's nine months, maybe. Nine months. So, you have a couple of funny stories that you've already had with the car already. Now, now this is the great thing about these cars is there's always stories that come along with them. So, tell me a couple. Um, well, probably the funniest, most recent one is... Um, Everybody likes to joke about who's going to get the speeding ticket or how soon is it going to be before you get the speeding ticket. And um, even we went to a car show this weekend and all the guys were telling me, oh, be careful, you know, and I have to say, I'm not the one <laughs> who got the first speeding ticket in the car. Um, a couple months ago, my husband was doing some testing of the carburetor and <laughs> such, and uh, he got pulled over uh -huh. and got a nice speeding ticket. Nice, congrats. <laughs> um, there's also been... Um, we just replaced the tires recently. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons for that is um, we went to do a U-turn and it turned into a circle um, instead of a U-turn. So <laughs> new tires new were tires. needed for that, yes. Um, and then some of the projects that we've done, uh, we completely replaced the air conditioning system with vintage air. Oh, okay. And uh, when we pulled that apart, we found some of the reasons why the original air was not working, oh, no. which was a large rat's nest Ooh. um with all of the stuff that comes stuff, with it yeah and then uh including the rat oh the rat was still in there yes it was very mummified okay <laughs> all right at least it didn't come flying out at no you. i think the rat is probably 30 40 years old <laughs> oh but you know the other thing that i thought was really cool you you and your husband both you 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 post a lot on on your instagram page of, about the car and i think that that's fantastic but when i saw the pictures of the new tires on the dining room table aces that's too cool. That, yep. That's 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 just, you know, a couple that is down with making a car super, super cool. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, they got to go somewhere. They so. do have to go somewhere. <laughs> now, you also, this is this is a, your husband's Jaguar here. Mm -hmm. Really cool that you found a car that matches the, the, the Jag. Now, what, what do you know the name of the color of this other than green? British Racing Green. But this is British Racing Green. Yep. <laughs> See, I mean, when you're going to get a Jag, British Racing Green is super. Supercharged, six-cylinder badass you get the speeding ticket in the 145 horsepower oh, yeah. one yeah okay. and that was the joke too because <laughs> when he got this car i mean my dad literally made a bet like i bet you it won't be 30 days without you getting a ticket and i don't think he's paid up on that yet but uh, -oh. uh he got the ticket in that not that that's <laughs> funny the you know what much cooler story in that I, I think this was obviously a speeding ticket a speeding ticket getter but super super great car Caitlin, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much for thank having you. us out to your beautiful home, showing us your really cool car. We're going to head back to the dealership and wrap it up. All right. Thank you so much, Caitlin, for having us out to your house and showing us your dream car. Not everybody gets to have their dream car. And if you noticed, the Corvette was there and the Jaguar was there. Her husband Phil's Jaguar. And I asked her when we're getting ready to leave, I'm like, so where's your daily driver? And she's like, this is it. That is her daily driver, that beautiful green 76 Corvette. This is the season finale of season two. Make sure you go back and watch all 26 episodes of Behind the Garage Door while we take a month or so off 
and we'll be back. Don't worry, more Behind the Garage Door is coming. So thank you so much for being here for season two, and we'll see you soon. Stingray Chevrolet, relax, enjoy the dip.